I'm Ted Conrad with Fireboard Labs. I'm here with Tuffy Stone. Tuffy, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, I my appreciate pleasure, that. Ted. Out here at the American Royal 2018. So, so far, what do you think? A nice event? Oh, man. You know, American Royal to me is very special contest. This is their 39th annual uh, American Royal, so we, you know, a bunch of us just cooked the invitation all day, so I'm, I'm a little tired right now. Just finished prepping all my meat for the open. Been a little hot, but, uh, you know, American Royal, it's a World Series of barbecue, and it's, uh, it's uh, you know, the American Royal uh, makes a setting where people can have dreams come true, so it was cool. Too. Today we uh, had a European team uh, win grand champion, and yeah. That was really awesome. They had actually let me borrow uh, a pit of theirs. I was just in the Netherlands and cooked, uh, taught a class over there and cooked a competition. And they had a, uh, a pit that I could use. And, you know, I went up to congratulate them. Actually, when they were walking up, I went over and, you know, That's they, they were crying and, and showing the same emotion uh, as I felt when I won the Invitational back in 13. That's cool. It's amazing to watch, you know, with the award ceremony and just, yeah, that emotion. Ocean. Everybody's yeah. congratulating everybody. It's it's a great industry, you know. I feel like just to be blessed as part of it because everybody's just. It's a great time, and people are always happy to help each other. So, you know, I would say uh, barbecues like the, the the most gregarious food. It's the friendliest food. It's you know barbecues of yeah. a, a, a food that historically is. Uh, you know, picnics and, and family reunions and, and cooking large chunks of meat, uh, trying to coax something great out of it. And, you know, whether it's cooking backyard barbecue or whether it's competition barbecue, it's 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 a, it's a friendly cuisine. Yeah. Well, and I was going to mention your book, too. Congratulations on Thanks, that. Thanks, It's a wonderful book. Thank you. And um, I think you reached out to us, I think, in the process of writing it, right? And Well, you know, it's like... Cooking, especially in competition barbecue, cooking uh, competitions now for me is, is is has new challenges than it once did because um, because of television, because of barbecue pit masters, because of some of the things that uh, that I've been able to do in barbecue. Right. Um, I have lots of people that, that I'm talking to and, and, and it kind of gets disruptive uh, not disruptive uh, it's hard for me to always focus on monitoring everything that I want to monitor sure. and still be a friendly person and at the end of the day I'm going to be a friendly person before anything else and so and, and I got to tell you, Ted, I'm, I'm the person that used to say, if you email me, I'll call you right back. So I've been slow to embrace technology, and, and honestly, I haven't really been a big fan of uh, a lot of electronics when it comes to barbecue. I've you know, been a very simple approach, you know, but as as my world and competing has changed and, and, and I am talking to more people and, and it's easy for me to lose my focus, I wanted to look at, you know, what kind of devices were out there that might be able to uh, keep me in control of my meat uh, and at the same time be able to do whatever it is that I need to do. And, you know, uh, so you know your 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 device is is good on a lot of a lot of layers. It's it's really easy to use. Uh, you know, it connects to my smartphone. Uh, yeah. You know, I can go back and, and track cooks. And, you know, but for me, really, I, I use some of the most basic components of it because really, if I know my pit's running at 275 degrees or 300 degrees, and my brisket's at 198 degrees it's fine yeah. and so I can be multitasking I can be doing something else and know that I'm not going to undercook or overcook my meat and so it's great you know and the real truth is uh, even cooking at home so you know competition barbecue is great it's a lot of fun uh, and there's a lot of teams here tonight yeah. Yeah. but cooking barbecue at home Let's just let's just move the competition uh, components or portion of barbecue aside. 
there's more barbecue being cooked in the backyards of the world in America than a competition barbecue. But we're, the, the reality is we're all busy these days. You know, there's not enough hours in the day. And so to take the time to cook a rack of ribs or a pork butt or a beef brisket, you know, that's a commitment of time. Sure. And if we can get the honeydew list uh-huh. or if we can get the, ga- uh, the, the grass cut or whatever we need to do, and light up our grill, light up our pit, uh, and get our meat going, and be able to be doing something else, pull out our phone, yep. see yeah. where we're at, that makes it really good. So, But when I reached out to you with the book, actually, it was, you know, I was doing the book at the time, but, but the real reason for me to reach out to you is all of a sudden... And and like I said, I've been a, I've had a very simplistic approach in barbecue most of most of my time, but I felt the need to all of a sudden like you know look at the uh, the tools and 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 uh, th- things that are out there that could make me be more successful to cook. Right. And and look, competition barbecue. I'm going into a, a little bit of a hushed tone now. So someone today won a world championship. They won their first world championship, and they were they, they, it was awesome. Ed, I, you know, they were crying. There's a lot of emotion. You know, they traveled all the way from Europe to come here to compete. Competition barbecue is expensive. Cooking barbecue at home is expensive. You know, you're getting large cuts of meat. Um, but you know, to to have a product like yours that's that and and. It, you know, you know technology is good when I can use it, and and so to to be able to like just gra- grab my phone, you know, touch my app, you know, you know I can I can be the most friendly person out there on the circuit, you know, meeting people. Uh, which is really what it's all about because uh, like I said barbecue is a friendly food uh, and know that I'm not going to overcook my brisket you yep. made it easy for us yeah well I appreciate that and I just uh, congratulate you again and wish you the best with your book and, thank you uh, so much Tiff and of course you're you're hitting maybe just real quick you're hitting new recipes or recipes you've had for a long time or tell us just real quick well you know the book was a lot you know I I I got to a point in my career, you know, we did barbecue pit masters for six seasons. I've had, uh, really, I've been so blessed on the competition circuit and, and had, you know, so many great, you know, uh, just I can't, I tell, I tell people sometimes if I never ever win again, if my dad and I never win again, we've still won more than our fair share. So we've had so much, uh, we've been so blessed in, in the competition world. And But as, as I was working on my career with the restaurants, with classes, with all the things that I do, I felt like I needed to, to I, I felt like I needed to put a cookbook together and kind of uh, share my thinking on on barbecue, cooking with fire, how to man the smoke, tenderness. I also wanted to bring in a little bit some unique recipes, you know. So many of my friends have done so many really amazing cookbooks. So when I finally uh, signed a contract with my publisher and it was like, all right, I'm really doing a cookbook now. I had to say, well, all right, what's going to be, what's going to be a compliment to the other books that are already out there? And so I tried to bring in some, you know, of what I do on the circuit. I tried to do bring some flavors that are maybe are just, you know. Uh, not the same, but still really good. I don't, you know, comp- barbecue. I say there's the stereotypical expected flavors of barbecue. You know, when we think of barbecue, we think of first of all the meat, whether it be chicken, pork, brisket. We think of the smoke, uh, all these kind of things. But um, bring it in some taste that you'll like, but it, but doesn't offend you. It, it was a lot more work than I expected. It was it was a lot of work. I'm, sure I'm, was, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that it's done. I'm pleased with the inside, and you know, it's uh, fireboard makes it really easy for me to like, you know, light up my light up my smoker, get a handle on my meats, and make sure they turn out perfect. 
Well, I appreciate that, Tuffy. Yes, well, sir. Thank We're you. Uh, running out of time. Yes, sir. Here I know. I get windy, Ted. Yep. And I know you've got a busy day tomorrow. I gotta get. I gotta go to bed. So I appreciate coming out. Thanks, and, Ted. Uh, thanks so much, Tuffy. Thank you so much. Okay. Best right. of luck. All right. Thanks.